Welcome back to That Game, the show where we take a look at video games with sexy, sexy covers, and we ask that age-old question, FAP? It's great to be back to regular themed reviews. Honestly, from the MMO marathon to the visual novel marathon, it felt like it went forever. Now with those out the way, I want to dive right back into the sexy Japanese gaming library of Illusion. Yep, it's that time again. Let's take a look at another sexy video game from Illusion. We've taken a look at a lot of the video games in their collection. The Sexy Beach series, including the latest in the series where we can create our own experiences, Box Hacko, the weird girl pet box game, Biko 3, the tactical espionage Roge, and Des Blood 4, which was my Dat Game Volume 2 DVD exclusive, aka Hallway Walking Simulator. So let's dive back into the series of Des Blood. And if you haven't seen my Des Blood 4 review, you can pick it up right now on the DAC Game Volume 2 DVD on ShadyCorner.com. Oh, you already have the DVD. Well, let's get to the review. But if you don't have the DVD, you should dive over there right now and purchase it. Go on. Enter them, uh, them credit card details. Oh, wait. Des Blood is one of the biggest series of games from Illusion. Having four games in the series set in the 22nd century from planet Earth to buttfuck space. To sum up the game's plot, we're going up against bad guys in action and adventure shooter games. Not very well made shooters. The last game in the series was Des Blood VR, based on the first game. Bringing it full circle? I'm not too sure. The more I dug, the more lore I found, and when I did find out what Des Blood 4 was about, I was kinda shocked. There was a plot there, not just fucking hallways. But with every series, you have to ask yourself, when are we going to get the racing spin-off? Wayford, I'm talking to you. Hit me up. Des Blood Racing was a spin-off to the series, showcasing characters from all the previous games, pitting one another in the chance for glory. Games like these are not uncommon. Raymond had his own racing game called Raymond M, or Raymond Arena, which was fantastic. And even Micro Machines tried with their Micro Maniacs, and their nightmarish character design. Seriously, you could base an entire horror game just off Mesme alone. And you know what? I wouldn't play it, because that would be fucked and scary. And of course there was the game that people loved to hate, and hate it so much they loved it. Sonic R. The slippery runner with the killer soundtrack that would spawn memes as far as the eye could see. I mean, I don't mind Sonic R. It's far from perfect, but how much worse could it get? Well, let's see what Des Blood Racing has to offer. I mean, when I think of lewd game series, I think, man, they need a kart racing game. Bone Town Racing, Scarlet Carts. It's a fucking gold mine. Booting up the game, we see some of the main girls ready to race. As well as a car, um, fr a frog, and a, a, di a dinosaur. <laughs> no, 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 please, game. Not all at once. I can only take so much. Don't blow your load right away. One at a time. Hitting up the story mode, we pick from some of the girls of the Des Blood series. Let's go with Keto first. Each character has their own storyline, some crossing over to other characters too. Though, Kino's looks like a movie trailer of a futuristic action movie. That is until we see her skilled cop moves in action. I'm a cop! Pow pow! So in order to catch the perp, we've got to race. Oh my god. Look at this. L look at this. What, what, what a fucking mess. I mean, first off, before we even start, these art assets look like they were cut with a bear's teeth. The texture packs? Mmm, delicious. I mean, is, 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 that, is that some trees or is that some mold on the bottom of a bagel? But hey, we haven't even started playing the game yet. I 
not be serious. Sonic R is actually better than this. And no one can say otherwise. Someone actually made a running racing game worse than Sonic R. For a cop chasing a criminal, she has such a dainty ass walk. Stop in the name of the law. Now, as you can see, we have our usual suspects, such as a speedo, which, you know, everyone has that when they're running, our time and distance of the race, and of course, power drinks. Power drinks give us an extra boost. But why the fuck would we want to do that? There are three reasons you don't want to do this. One, it's so hard to fucking turn any faster, and you'll start to clip through the fucking landscape. It's almost giving big rigs a run for its fucking money. And saying that scares me. Second reason, every time you hit the edge of the road, your character makes the same sound. Each different for each character, but a full sentence. So imagine a record skipping in one ear as you bleed out of the other while you play this game. And the third reason for not drinking energy drinks in this video game, because my heart rate, it's at its limit. If I drink any more energy drinks, there's gonna be Des blood all over my Des about Des blood. And get this, it's one race per character. Yeah, yeah, you do one race and that's it. Guess what? You have completed this 100%. Call up Trihex. Cause guess what? I found this new speedrun project! Fuck Yoshi! Desbot Racing is where it's at! Fuck. What was that run, dude? Dude. The moral of that level is tuck your dick in, dude. It was not worth it. Oh. And the art assets actually get worse. Yeah, go back to my Hooters Road Trip game review, because I actually feel bad about how mean I was at that game. I mean, look at this. Look, what is this? What is, is that a, is that a homeless man and a target painted dude living on an island together? Twice? What is this? What, what is this? What is this island? What are these people doing on this island? Who are these people? How deep? Does the Des Blood Law go? Somebody teach me the lore of this game! So the second level we enter a fish mouth and end up in an unused level of Crash Team Racing with Diglets and Whale.bitmap. I know this is meant to be a spin-off of the series, but somebody explain to me the visual choices they made! Des Blood, please! You see it too, huh? I never thought I'd be playing a lewd game from Illusion where I got to jump over skull jumps and, you know, drink energy drinks and race a ballerina dinosaur. But hey, here we are. We've hit the peak. We've hit success. Mum, phone me up right now because your boy made it. There is so much to fucking say about this, but at the same time, I've got fucking nothing. It's a fucking dinosaur spinning around on a racetrack. Against humans? In a race. Oh, did I mention there's a frog? Yeah, did I? Did I? Did I mention there's a frog? Yeah, because right after we leave the sands of Egypt, there, yeah, there's a fucking frog. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. This game actually exists on our planet. Have you seen it? Have you looked? Have you looked with your own eyes? So get this, if you beat the game with every character, you unlock the final character, Frog, 
where Frog must race and defile three of these girls. Illusion, what crack were you smoking while you made this game? Yeah, you, you heard me right. We have to race as a frog and then defile the other races. As I write this review, I feel like I'm making it up. But you can see this with your own eyes. This is fucking real. Now, the lewd scenes for the game can be found in the gallery after unlocking everyone's race stories. They are pre-rendered and pretty piss poor. I mean, even games like Biko 3 had better bake scenes. I know that game came out before this one, but for a parody of the Des Blood series, I'm kind of expecting a little bit of a payoff. I feel like I've been fucking tortured. But we haven't even got to the best part yet. The free race mode. Story mode is so rich. Why not fill the game to the brim with even more amazing content at this stage? Because you know, by fuck it needs it. So in free play mode, we can pick our tracks and characters in the Des Blood series we've unlocked through the story mode, such as the chibi that will haunt my nightmares, a sports car, a man on a bike, and even a fucking dinosaur! Okay, okay. Even the zoo race, bottom of the pile. This is the greatest character select screen in the history of character select screens. The bonus characters all kind of play the same. Slight changes in the stats, but even if you're still rocking one for Des Blood Racing... Would you want to try this? I don't even understand how the fuck a car can jump, let alone use an energy drink. And the noise it makes when it hits the wall? It's like a fine wine. I mean, the red sports car makes a clang noise. Not like a car, more like a hammer hitting an anvil, but... Why does the other car laugh at us? And as for the dinosaur, <laughs> it's everything you could have hoped for. Honestly, I think we've hit the weirdest game I've ever reviewed. There are so many questions. So many things are wrong. So many genres mixed together. And the longer I stare at this dinosaur's butt, all I can see is a black void, which looks like his asshole. I even went as far as to edit the sprites in the game because anyone could tell they cropped these in paint, and lo and behold, I put Terry on the island, EVM's logo on the jumps, and made me the creepy chibi girl. I guess you could say I found some amusement in the game, I think. There's blood racing. It's got frog. So, uh, there's blood racing. It's a game. It's a pretty fucking bad game. There is sexiness, but I could stare at a toaster and feel just as turned on. It's got a dinosaur, has some trees and stuff, there's a ice diglet, and did I, did I tell you guys about the frog? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's got a frog. This game is horse shit. I honestly think that this game made me have a stroke somewhere by the sheer weirdness it was projecting. I mean, even if I played the other games in the series, I don't think it would have helped. Look at this game and tell me you see what they were trying to do. I mean, sure, it's a racing game, and yeah, it's not in the same league as Street Racing Syndicate or Hooters, you know, being hat. but there is a part of this game that somehow amused me. A part of it that got my attention just enough to play it, only just, but then my brain switched off, and I went into autopilot, and, and frog. Well, that was a review I did for the Des of the, the blood for the Dak game. I'm Shades. You're the peeps. Good gravy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to keep up to date with the latest DAC goodness, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click like on this video. Also, if you guys want to see some exclusive and uncensored DAC game episodes, including extra content, you can support us on Patreon. 
And if you want to wear that game, you can head on over to our store and get some sweet shady shirts and merch. Thanks again for watching. Go